so excited today i'm doing a dining room refresh some chores and we're gonna head out shopping why don't you join us All right, so I didn't buy everything brand new that's gonna go up on this shelf in my dining room. A lot of this is stuff that I had around the house and it didn't really have a home. When we bought this house, we were just such in a hurry to get back to work and get the house settled that not all the home decor was put out and it's been boxed up for a long time. So I think some of it is going to fit really nicely up there and I really want to start decluttering the house. I felt like when we moved in and I threw all of that up there that I was just really putting it up there so it had a spot and it wasn't in a box but now I really want to give it a clean minimalist look and thankfully Matt is here to help me so I don't have to keep going up and down the ladder. So I'm just going to try some things in different places see how it works and hopefully it'll come out looking really good waste another day eyes on my display you say we need a change and i feel that you mean it you mean it but you're so right we're losing track of time Buying things online and it's not like we need them We don't need them So can we just slow items didn't end up fitting. I did have to kind of scrounge around the house to see what I could move up to the shelf. A lot of the rooms do need a refresh anyways, but I'm running out of time. We're going to head out shopping and we're going to the Birch Run Premium Outlets for our first time. Let's go. This was a pretty long drive for us, so we're all really hungry. Before we start walking around the outlets, we're going to go to Uno Bar and Grill for some food. Luke was so hungry. We had about a 45 minute wait. I have to show you his reaction. Ricky got a cob salad that looked absolutely amazing. I ended up going with a quesadilla because I thought that I might have to actually go out to the car to feed Daniel. There wasn't really any good um, spots in the restaurant to nurse. So the quesadilla was really good though. So we're going to head out, check out some of these stores. I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping to find some good deals. As soon as we got to the Columbia store, we saw a bunch of clearance racks outside. So I was hoping that was a good sign. 
Unfortunately, we didn't find anything there. We started to drive around to see what other stores we could check out. Uh, the Pottery Barn, of course, I wanted to go into. We do make a stop into the North Face. Um, but the Pottery Barn store, I thought, was unbelievably cool. It had so much stuff on clearance. I thought the outdoor furniture was really cute. Uh, we didn't have a truck or anything to bring large stuff home, so no buys for me there. So we are going to actually head out of here, head towards home, and go to Walmart. Now these are the type of clearance prices I was looking for. I try to always buy for the next season and just buy the kids a size up. I even found myself some really cute shirts and Ricky picked out a couple things too. So we were pretty happy with our Walmart stop. It was still fun to go out and see the Birch Run outlets. I know it's a pretty popular place to go to. So I'm glad we did the trip, but we're gonna head home. Everyone's kind of exhausted but we did get our good deals here. Before I start my evening chores, I did want to show you guys our Walmart clothing haul that we kind of accidentally stumbled across. So I've been really needing some new workout clothes after having Daniel. I really want to start working out again and hopefully getting back into a better routine. So. I was able to score some really good finds. I like the Reebok um, exercise clothes or just workout clothes. They're good material. They hold up really well. And for five bucks, you honestly can't beat that. And then I was able to get some running shorts. So just some really cute stuff for me. I was able to get the girls and Matthew some clothes. Ricky, I got him just an extra polo. After you score those kind of deals, it's really hard to go pay $30 or $40 for a polo. This shirt I got from Melanie, it doesn't show the clearance tag on that, but that was 6 bucks. So just really affordable clothes. And then that way, if they end up staining them when they're playing or it gets ruined, I don't feel so bad about it. It was only a few dollars and it's not like we have all of this going to waste. But I'll show you guys the rest of the haul really quickly. didn't have any time to try my Stefania. I'm hoping everything fits. If it does, you'll probably see it in some new upcoming videos, but I do have to get into the kitchen. The dishes are crazy. I didn't have time to do them before we left this morning. So I've got to get those done before bed, throw in a load of laundry, and then I'm going to be done for the night. Yeah. 
could just be me, but I honestly feel like I sleep better knowing that the dishes and the laundry are done and I'm not waking up to a mess. That is going to do it for us tonight. We are so exhausted. It was such a fun day, though. Thank you so much for coming along. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.